Hey, so I just wanted to come on here and show you guys a process video that I, that I did for these altered clothes pins. Um, I'm using the same colors, the purple, the pink, and the blue that I use for the skull that I altered. And you can see a little peek of that, of that on your upper left corner. Um, so I was using these for specific um, pastel Halloween projects. And, you know, pastel Halloween colors are hard to come by so I had to make them myself and I knew I wanted to do clothespins because they're cheap and you can make a lot of them so I got a pack of 100 clothespins at the 99 cent store for 99 cents and each of the colors is only 50 cents at Walmart and all these embellishments were things that I already had in my stash so I'm able to make a lot um not only am I able to make pastel Halloween I could use um regular black orange, white, green, pur dark purple colors to make the uh, traditional Halloween as well. So for a couple bucks, I'm able to make a lot of these um, clothespins. And again, there's just so much you could do with these. So go ahead and stay tuned. Um, you'll see me coloring them, coloring, you'll see me painting, sorry, painting them and then adding a little bit of glitter. And then I'll come back come back and show you guys how I add um, some ribbon and stickers and trim and all that. Enjoy.
that the paper clips are finished being painted and are dried out um, we're gonna go ahead and add some embellishments to just dress them up a little bit I don't want to dress them up too much because they're painted so it would defeat the purpose of um, having painted them nice and pastel -y. Um so I'm just gonna add a little embellishment just so we could add them to some um, projects embellishment books whatnot um, so I have some embellishments here pom-poms some flowers I don't know if I'm gonna use this it's kind of big um, some paper flowers little tassel and some stickers and rhinestones as well as some ribbon that I pulled out well some trim and ribbon so yeah go ahead and stay tuned and enjoy the process of embellishing these and at the end I will show you the finished product <music>
done. I hope you guys enjoyed that little video there. Um, so I wanted to do this kind of quick and just hurry up and use what I have in arm's reach because sometimes I feel like I get so overwhelmed with trying to finish a product and I get overwhelmed with everything that I have and I just, you know, just need to grab and go and not think twice about it. And I really, really like how these came out. Um, so I have the witch here um, and I just put a sticker there and I left the backing to it and just adhered it with some um, foam, sh some uh, sticky foam pieces there, added a jewel, added a jewel and a little bit of trim there. And I think the black really makes it pop there. Here I just added some uh, some trim there with the sticker all the way down there. And again, I, I wanted to keep these kind of simple just because I want the the color to pop still. Um, this one I think is one of my favorites. Um, this is a pom-pom one, pink pom-poms, pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, I think this is my favorite or this one. Now here the same thing, I put a little felt ghost sticker all the way down because this, I don't know if you could tell, this clothespin was cracked and I didn't want it to go to waste so I just figured, you know, I'll just cover it up and the same thing, I used foam pieces to adhere this little ghost there. I used a paper rose there from uh, Michaels and the stickers down there. Well, I say they're stickers, they're rhinestone stickers and I got these at a local dollar store. And they're really, really turning out to be um, really useful. Like some of my favorites. I'm already, I got two sheets. One white. I don't know if you could tell they're different. This is a white and this is more of a pink. Um, I pretty much already used <laughs> the whites up. I really like how they make all my pastel Halloween projects pop. So I got one pink, one white. I'm going to have to go back and get more. Then I have the pom-pom here. I didn't know... If this trim was going to look um, good because it's kind of facing right, um, but I liked it anyways. Uh, I don't know. I may add something to this. I know I said I wanted plain, but this looks a little too plain for me. I mean, you can't get too crazy with this because you still have to be able to open and close them um, because I will be adding them to embellishment books. You'll see at the end, I will insert pictures of a, an embellishment book that I did use this for. And, um, I mean, I want them to be still use, useful, so I don't want to get crazy, especially at the end here. Um, I don't know. I may or may not add something to this. And then the last one, um, this is actually a, a Target Dollar Spot sticker. It had, like, a, ban a whole tassel banner, like three or four other ones. And I cut it off and just put it here with, again. My favorite little uh, stickers, new favorite there. And I thought this looked pretty cool. And again, um, I had this left over from a project right before I worked on these. And I had it on my desk. And I was like, let me just use it before it just sits around for a year not getting used. Let me go ahead and just put it on this project here. So yeah, um, let me know which one is your favorite one, guys. Again, I think uh, these two, one of these are going to be uh, my favorite. Um and again, stay tuned for the end. I will insert pictures on how I use these on an embellishment book. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget.